For more than 20 years, researchers have conducted a long-term study on autism involving more than 115,000 children, looking into what causes it and how it might be prevented. There are certainly strong genetic factors that are at play, but it's probably not a single factor. Dr. Mady Hornig is one of the study's researchers with Columbia University's Melbourne School of Public Health. For her, the research is personal. Her son is on the autism spectrum. The study involved blood and genetic testing and detailed health questionnaires. What did they find? What I call three strikes hypothesis. The sort of, you know, the genes, the environment, and the timing together. The hypothesis is that multiple circumstances need to come together to create the conditions for autism. That includes certain genetic markers and what they call environmental conditions, specifically inflammation in the body accompanied by a high fever during a very specific time in the pregnancy, the second trimester, when critical neural pathways are developing. Researchers looked closely at how those fevers in mothers were treated. When the mothers report that they have infection, whether they have a fever, whether they took something for the fever or didn't, and what they took for the fever, how long they took it. Researchers stress it's important for pregnant women to discuss with their doctors if they ever get a fever. Not allowing a fever to continue prolong in a prolonged fashion is an important aspect. In the study, a small subset of mothers took ibuprofen to reduce their fever and researchers found zero there were zero cases of autism among mothers who had fever during pregnancy who took ibuprofen the autism study is ongoing with researchers continuing to mine the data so it's a very very rich resource in the hopes it can eventually provide answers to all parents of children with autism i'm maya rodriguez